In this video, we went to Singapore's only afternoon tea buffet in Singapore. Oh my god, what is an afternoon tea buffet? Watch till the end to find out if it's worth it because it turned out to be quite expensive. Expensive. Hi guys, so the other day I was looking for buffets for us to go together, right? And I saw this afternoon tea buffet. Eh. I've never heard of afternoon tea buffet, so I think this is the only afternoon tea buffet in Singapore. So I thought, why not go check it out? Personally, I love this kind of video because we can get to experience new stuff and share with you guys. So I saw, right, there are quite a lot of mixed reviews for this place. Lovely afternoon tea buffet experience. Do make reservation to avoid disappointment. The buffet is horrible and pathetic for $62. Service was fantastic and wide varieties of high tea selections. Horrible service, horrible spread. Life would be better if I never went there. Okay, so it's quite interesting for us to go find out. Yeah. To see whether it's worth it. Okay, so let's go. It's here. Okay, so now we are gonna have our English afternoon tea buffet. $62 per adult. Okay, so before we go get our food, we're gonna order our drinks first. So for this buffet, each person is entitled to two drinks. Yeah, so what shall we order? Okay, there are like a lot of drinks here, like tea, coffee, even iced chocolate. And can also top up for like, you know, some additional teas. You know, I'm very happy because right now, right, the buffet, you can actually come and get yourself. Previously, because of COVID, right, they have to serve to you. Yeah. And these are the afternoon tea selection. Okay, I guess we have to order everything again. So we'll take everything and try everything for you guys. Okay. Okay, so this is our first stop. These are all the local delights. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. We decided to order one item each so we can try everything on the menu. Okay, so we're gonna start with the local delights first. Yeah. So I have the laksa here. And I'm gonna try the mee siam. Okay, let's try. <laughs> so for the mee siam, right, it's a dry mee siam without any gravy. You know I'm actually very hungry right now. Because for this buffet, right, I skip my lunch. I skip my breakfast and lunch. So this is an afternoon tea buffet. What is the difference between afternoon tea and high tea buffet? I think I need to Google first. I'm gonna keep it short and simple. So the difference between high tea and afternoon tea is that afternoon tea offers more substantial food items than high tea. I think this is a good example because I think usually high tea right is more of like cakes, pastries. But yeah. for this afternoon tea right, got like noodles eh, which is like can be quite filling. We also have the spring roll, gyoza, mantou with chili crab sauce, yam and also skewers which is like satay. Our iced chocolate is here. You know afternoon tea right, people usually order what? Tea. But this person beside me right, want to order chocolate. Eh. Are you trying to accuse me? You are the one that wanted to drink chocolate. No. Okay, let's drink. <laughs> Excuse me, this is the stirrer eh. You know it's about 4 p.m. on a Friday afternoon, but you see like there are a lot of people here, eh? yeah. which is like very surprising for me because normally people for buffet they will choose to go for lunch or dinner. Yeah, and it's not cheap, you know. Yeah, it's sixty-two dollars per pack. Okay, so we are now at another section to take our food. Okay, so now we are eating the hot delights and this one includes like soup, pork stew, beef wellington and also some of the small small fried stuff which includes like wings and also mac and cheese. Let's try the pork stew. <laughs> so let's try the beef wellington. The beef wellington is quite nice eh? We are gonna quickly finish up all the food here because the buffet ends at 5pm and now it's already 4.30 4 Why are we taking so long? Take video. <laughs> I always feel that buffet for us is not worth it because we always take too long to you know, take video yeah. and then mm -hmm. we never eat But anything for you guys is worth it Cringe So there's actually outdoor seating also eh? 
I think it's like much nicer like and, warm. and not so noisy Just not like a lot of people are walking behind us you know while we are eating We still got like a cool view eh Now we're gonna take all the sandwiches There are a lot of variety This is so cute Okay, so now Brandy is getting some cheese and ham and after this try, I think we are left with desserts only. So this is the last set of food we are going to try before the dessert. Yeah, so these are like the sandwiches and also the cheese platter. And before that, I think we need to order our second round of tea. Yes! I got a feeling that they are understuck here because we have to clear our own plates. Right. Yeah. We are just gonna finish up all the sandwiches and then it will be dessert. Our tea is here. Thank you. So our tea is here and I realized something. Why our teapot so ugly one? And you see? Other people's teapot so nice. This one is like the Chinese <laughs> restaurant one. Like got pool uh, inside. Okay, last but not least, the desserts. Wow, and also got ice cream eh. There's more desserts here. It's my favorite part of the buffet, which is the desserts. And we have like creme brulee, pudding, and also scones. So I'm gonna try this now. The is very nice. Hey, I realized something eh. You can also get all the desserts here. We've got fruits also. So Ben is back with more desserts. Wow. So apart from the ones that Ben did try, right, there are also a variety of desserts. Okay, so the view is here. How much is it? $145.95 eh. Expensive. Okay, so we are done with the afternoon tea buffet. So how do you feel? Yeah, so this is my first time having the afternoon tea buffet and I agree with you that the ambience is not the best. And if I can choose right, I will choose the outdoor seating. But it's gonna be a bit hot lah. But there are some nice food like the beef wellington and the cheese tart. Just that the price is a bit pricey, right, for afternoon tea buffet. Because for 70 plus plus right, we can actually do lunch or dinner buffet already. For me overall, I think it's okay, but I think because we are seated over at the lobby area, yeah. so I feel that it's a little bit messy. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this buffet is worth it? Yeah, leave it down in the comment box below to let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to us and click on the notification bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. And so remember to follow us on our Instagram and TikTok and leave down a comment to let us know what videos to do next. Yep, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.